Hello everyone, welcome back to another Tankard Brewing video. We've uh, got the old uh, Tankard Brewing merch on. Yeah, right. mm. Available in the link down below. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing a conservatory brew, a bit of a flashback to the past. Yeah. Um, Weather's a bit minging outside. We didn't worry. We were planning to brew outside, but it's just started raining. So, change of scene from the garage. We're now back in the conservatory. Yeah, and this is going to be a uh, golden ale using all fresh. 2023 British hops. Yeah. Um, the best quality we can find, really, aren't they? Yeah, 100%. So um, we were after some pellets, but we couldn't get hold of them, could we? So we've yeah. ended up with some whole leaf hops, which we're trying to stop using. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll be that's just for today. Yeah, just yeah, for today. Just for today. Going forward, it won't be. It won't be. We won't be using leaf at all, really. No. Um, it's just a bit of a pain cleaning, trying to sort everything out. So yeah. yeah. Sacking them off, yeah. we are on the Bruzilla. Yeah, we're coming back to the Bruzilla just because it's we haven't got loads of time, we need the stuff to heat up quickly, and we're just going to do a full volume mash like back to basics as if we were, you know, back in school. We had our lasses at home, she wants a day off, so yeah, it's going out with the girls tonight. Eh? Yeah, she's going out on smash with girls, <laughs> cocktails, and that's it. Cocktails what, a, what, and a, what else do they do? Um, but so, yeah. We've still got no pump on the Bruzilla. Brew Keg Tappers have, have, have actually emailed me today to say they've posted it, so it should be here over the next few days to yeah. replace. Yeah. But yeah, just a very simple recipe Golden Promise, Wheat, Bramling Cross, and EKG hops. Yeah, and that's it. Surprise for this video. We've ordered an actual cask, a pin. Pin? Pin cask. Nice and easy builder. It should be quaffable, we're mashing at 65, so nice thin body, and we hopefully, well not today, <laughs> but when the, sun, when, the, when the sun decides to come out, we'll I'm have ready for a few, few points in the sun. Cask on, yeah. tapped in, all breathed up, through the ample, 20 litres, sounds like a lot, but I don't think it'll yeah. last very long, will it? As long as it turns out alright. 3.8%. Mm. Yeah. Right, we're uh, just heating up, back to you when it's done. Right guys, special sauce is added, as in the salt, and then now we're on to mashing in. We are. Tesco we're going with. We've had B&M, we've had all sorts, but today is Tesco's day. So we're going to see how this turns out, we've got the old plastic spoon, the old uh, new brewer's equipment, slightly bent. Many a stain. <laughs> oh, it's just going to be one full Bruzilla. Yeah, yeah. It's looking. Uh, oh, that's Dough chunky. <laughs> that's chunky. Alright, so smashed in. Going to give this all a big stir. Make sure there's no dough balls. And then leave for an hour at 65 degrees. So, pretty on a ventful mash on a hole. Not really much went on, did it? Yeah. Just left it for an hour and then we've done a mash out. And now we're gonna try. Whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Twist it, there you go. Uh, up a bit. Now let that drain out. As we said, no sparge on this brew. It's a very slow to drain sometimes, this brew's a is in it. <laughs> I have missed using it though. It's the next one. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone tells me that's a little bit stuck again. <laughs> oh. Ding, ding, ding. We'll come back when it's drained. Yeah, we're going to let this drain and then we'll come back to you. So that's grain basket out. We're just uh, going for the boil now. 85 degrees. We've got hot basket in. First edition is 15 gram of EKG and 15 gram of Bramling Cross. Once this is at the boil, we'll be chucking them in. Sorry, uh, camera ran out of battery halfway through recording clip of it going in. But first hops are in. Yeah, we're just slight premature hop edition. <laughs> we're at 99.7, but. It's gone in whole leaf hops again, so we're using the the hop spider standard 60 minute boil. 
I'll leave it at that now. Next edition is at 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So if you don't know brewing, that's in 45 minutes time. Yeah. <laughs> Got 15 minutes left of the boil, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Very, very uneventful. Pro flock. Going in. Fizzes away. Smells like fish. It does smell like fish, doesn't it, mate? Uh, some cross my leaf, loof. Use nutrient. I really struggle saying their name sometimes. CML. Say CML. CML. <laughs> if you're struggling. Go in. And then hops behind you. Good idea. It's a small addition. Just for aroma. Just for aroma. Aromatics. Yeah. We'll give that all a good stir in. 15 minutes left now, then we have a flame out addition yeah. and straight into cooling. We'll be back. We're in my exterior. Right, uh, zero minute addition at 80 degrees. Mm, nectar. Good. We'll chuck this in now and cool it down. Well, we'll leave it for 15. Yeah. Leave it, leave it between 15 and 30 minutes, depends how much you want to get out of it. If you want to get the absolute most out of it, then uh, Leave it for half an hour and stir it up and do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. Depends how uh, how much flavour you want to extract from your own hops. Yeah. So we do the we do this addition to achieve the minimum amount of bitterness, maximum amount of flavour, and that's our whirlpool addition. But obviously we're not whirlpooling. No, it's more like a flame out hop stand. Yeah. Yeah, uh, apologies, there's not been much recording on this one. We've, uh, we were just recording the name change video you'll have seen yeah, a few back, weeks ago. Backseat, bit of backseat brewing on Brewzilla, just made easy. And yeah. um, obviously we've got plans for this recipe. Um, so it's best that we keep it in the Brewzilla and do it as if someone else was doing it at home. Yeah. Um, and I think the majority of UK brewers use some sort of one vessel system. So we're just testing it out and so far... We're happy with how it's gone, so... Just going to let this sit now, and we'll be back to you. Right, the lads, we're all cooled down. Fenton ain't got his mic on, but I'm just going to get into fermenter now. Hopefully it doesn't block the Brazilian gods. Yeah, fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> Get the rest of that filled up. We're looking for 20 litres, hopefully. Beer's now in the fermentator. 18 degrees. Please, you how that went, mate? Oh, wonderful. That's our best brew day on Brewzilla by yeah, far. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, so you'll see us later on when we prime and tap the cask and everything. Our first cask. Yeah, we're looking forward to that, mate, aren't we? Yeah. Really looking forward to it. Before we used to use different corny kegs, we used to adapt them, but now we've got our own cask. There's no need to do that. No. Nope. And uh, watch out for that. Looking forward to it. Right, we'll catch you in a few weeks. This is Pam. Or our Pam. Our Pam. Beautiful. So we've gone out and bought ourselves a very own cask to make real ale with. Yeah. Um, got everything to go with it as well, haven't we? Yeah. And we'll show you some action shots now. Yeah. So as you can see, she's a Strathbran Brewery. If you're familiar, give us a shout. Um, she was bought from Advanced Brewing. So we've got all the paperwork and everything to say that she's now ours. So Keg Watch, don't rob it back off us. Uh, about 80 quid, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, about yeah. 80 quid. And then obviously we've had to buy everything else on top, so I'd say all in it's about cost us about 150 to 200 quid. But I think the level of beer that we're going to get out of it will be a lot better than cask. So we're just getting it ready now. We've uh, already added the keystone in, which you'll see Fenton knocking in now. Badly, because I'm having to use a rubber mallet, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, but now. To prime the cask, um, we're going to add some Isinglass and sugar. some sugar. We've, we're using 
we're aiming for about 1.2 volts in CO2 um, and we calculated that out to be 14 grams of sugar at about 10 degrees was it? Yeah I'll put in 12. But yeah. yeah so I'm just going with my cellar temperatures at the moment which is about 10 to 12 degrees so um, yeah so that should give us our desired carbonation. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully, and the eyes and glass will help to clear it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll just go ahead with priming it now and getting it ready. So, Fen's just added in the eyes and glass and the table sugar now. That goes into the bottom of the keg, and hopefully, that should all mix in when we put beer down on top. So guys, we are opting with siphoning into our cask today. We were going to use the tap, but uh, unfortunately it's a bit of a... I don't know, it's a bit of a strange size, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so she's going into our pan now. Um, just siphoning along on top of the ice and glass and the sugar. So it's like bottle conditioning, guys, It's, but it's just in a, in a cask. So here we go. We've got Fenton knocking a shine in. There we go. First one done. So you have it for this part of the video. Yep. So it's all in there. That's me and Ben's first cast filled. Was it? Full of gold nail, primed to 1.2 volts. So what's the next step of the process? You know it a bit more than me. Explain to the viewers. So it's like a bottle of conditioning. She's going to go in my cellar, our pan, and then she's going to go there for a week. And then we will tap it, place a spile in that we'll show you later, and then let her vent. And then when venting has ceased, we're going to add a cast breather to it, which is a, like a CO2 peg. Um, just so that when, because when we're pulling with the hand pull, we don't create a vacuum. Because so don't it, want oxygen in there, do we? We don't want oxygen in, yeah. because me and Ben can't drink 20 litres of ale in three days. We'll give like, it a good go, but yeah, <laughs> I struggle. The issues with cask ale is that within, because it is sucking oxygen in, within a couple of days, two, three days, you'll start to see it go stale lose all its flavour and become cardboardy. So yeah, we're going to use a cast breather, little peg, and then drink it, yeah, from the ample. That'll be lovely. So we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next part when we're doing that. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> I thought it was spraying out, but it didn't. <laughs> My God. There we go. It smells nice. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all over my hand. That's first ever tankard brewing cask tapped. Right guys, so she's been spiled. <laughs> <laughs> she's been hammered at top. We done hammer at bottom. Spilt a little bit, but this is first time, let me off. <laughs> uh, she's been opened. We've had beer line cleaner through tubes and water, um, we've opened up the tap and we're good to go aren't we? We're good to go, we have pulled a lot of crap through haven't we? Yeah we've pulled a bit, pulled, done a few pull throughs start off with, get the beer going. Um, we, we haven't seen what the beer looked like though because that was just into a, into a bucket that wasn't it? That was just into a jug but yeah. it's carbonated well enough, um, yeah so I just pour it? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Let's get on with it eh? Let me come round. Do a bit more pulling on cask, you know, compared to yeah. keg. Like I'm, I'm in this room, mate. Eh? Wow. Oh. <sighs> bit of, bit of old school pulling. Uh, fill it up a bit. Oh, a bit of blinding. <laughs> <laughs> Straight lines. <laughs> Straight line. Look at that. Good shot, sir! <laughs> <laughs> right. Whoops. We'll let it settle and then we'll come back yeah, to you. Yeah, we'll let it settle. 
I'm just going to be stood here for ages, my arms aren't that strong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Little Willie's Golden Ale. Right, so that's settled, look at... <laughs> and the Leeds Brewery Cup. Look at that. Which is a beauty. Ooh. Do you think it'll follow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it following? No, I'm just manually doing uh, it. But... Go on, follow it. <laughs> But look at that lads, that's blooming crystal that. Beautiful. Little Willie's Golden Ale coming to shops very soon. Well, today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. That's his first. Cask Ale. Yeah. Um, and it's a beauty. Served from the cask. I'd buy that in. I'd buy that in pub, mate. Me too. If I, if I bought that in pub, I'd be happy. Me too, hundred percent. Four quid, four quid a pint. Mm. Yeah. And if you buy it from us, you're looking at what? Fifty nine p. You're like just slightly less than that. Just slightly less. Fifty nine p a pint. And we're not just saying that to get sales. That is a bang. That day. is. <laughs> Look, it's crystal. If I were out in Leeds, I bought that, I'd be happy. Good man. Three weeks from making it to in there. Beautiful. Crystal let me, clear. Let me try it. Little Willie's gold nail. <laughs> Beautiful. Beauty that. Three weeks. No off flavours at no. all. Crystal mm. clear, golden air. You need to settle down. I, I need, I need to drive back, you. I'll just get a taxi home. <laughs> Come pick me up tomorrow. Pick me up tomorrow, <laughs> there we go. Look at that. It's like lager in a glass. It is. Oh man. Stunning. Eh?